so today I'm going to do a review on Chloe Ting's two week shred challenge. Um, I, if you look back a couple of videos ago, I did a review on her 28 day flat tummy challenge. I decided to continue and do another one of her challenges. Um, I did about three days in between. I read her FAQs. She says take about a week off. Forgot to do that. Didn't read it. So I did three days in between the 28 day um, flat tummy challenge and the two week shred challenge. I was going to do this video a couple weeks ago, but I decided to do a second round of the shred because I wasn't exactly fully happy with the results. So I did the 28 day flat tummy challenge, three days off, did the two week shred challenge, did a week off, and then did the two week shred challenge and just finished it up a couple of days ago. So I wanted to show my results and how it worked for me. Real quick, um, I'm actually really happy with how this worked. I'll show before and afters after this, and um, I, it's, it, was, it was a tough challenge. I mean, um, expect to do up and down planks at least three times a day if you're doing core and arms. It's going to be five. I didn't do a single regular burpee. I did the alternative versions every time there was a burpee, as well as plank jacks, because I struggle with plank jacks too, but I was still doing the um, alternative low impact versions that she gave. So like I said, it's a really tough challenge, but it really works everything in your body. Um, I guess the one thing that kind of throws me off about her challenges is it's so much focused on core and it's every day and then it's an, like an all over body um, fitness, you know, every day. Like she'll do legs every other day or arms every other day, but every day is literally full body and abs. So that's one thing, like I felt like I wasn't giving my abs a break, but I am happy with how the results were. Um, this time around, I know with the 28 day flat tummy challenge, if you go back and listen to it or watch it, I said that I didn't really change my eating habits or anything. I changed them a little bit this time around, um, not too much, not drastically, not fully clean, but um, I did change them a little bit just to kind of see if the results were a little bit better. I still ate ice cream, I still ate pizza, I still all did all that kind of stuff, but we just um, didn't do it as frequently as we were before. And on top of that, we also, or I also drank a lot more water. That was uh, something that I struggled with, I think, with the first 28 day flat tummy challenge is I wasn't drinking um, enough water. And I think that helped a lot with this one too, because you know, kind of flushing everything through. I was drinking, I have this cup actually, it's right here. I was drinking probably two or three of these a day, um, at least trying to. So that I think helped a lot as well. So I don't want to sit here and talk too long. Um, like I said, it's a tough challenge. I like how it works. I'll probably do another one of her challenges. I don't think it'll be the shred again. Um, or just take some of her workouts and kind of build my own. So without further ado, I will show you guys the results and how everything went. As you can see, it was a lot better. Um, I don't know if the shorts, the jean shorts that I've been trying them on with just are too small or too tight or they were from day one. I don't even remember I bought them last year. Um, but I decided to just kind of show it with um, regular just Sophie, Sophie, however you say it, athletic shorts. Because I think that shows the definition a little bit better rather than squeezing in on my sides and creating love handles. Which they could be there and they probably are, but this just makes them worse. So um, if you're looking for a good kind of all body workout or all over total body workout. Um, Chloe Ting is definitely one to look into. She does have focused ones if you want like a toned butt, toned legs, toned arms, that kind of thing too. I like the all over body because I don't really focus on one. I build muscle pretty easily. Um, so I don't like to just focus on one. I do feel stronger. I am happy with the results and how this worked out. Like I said, I might do another challenge or I might just kind of build my own off of it. So look into it if you're looking for something to do. If you're still working from home or anything, gyms in Michigan, I don't think are still open. So still having to do things at home and have very limited weights. So this was a good alternative for it. So if you like this review, please make sure to like, comment, or subscribe below. If I do another challenge, I'll make sure I do another video and show you guys results from it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all with the next video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.